All right, I'm gonna jump right in. We are gonna, I think, wrap up our last individual um, talk on more with less. I might have a recap to finish it all off, but I think this will be the last. Um, I know I keep talking about the end of this, so we're, we're really, really close. Um, so this morning, I wanna talk about resources, more resourceful, less wasteful. Um, and resources are anything that is like time, money, things, um, talent, the, the things we have that are tools to build something, if that makes sense. So think of resources and things that you have or I have that we have that we can make something from. So large amounts of resources are no accident. Just like the world was not created by an accidental Big Bang, and Ducati 748s are not a result of a fluky fortune. So I had to bring in the 748. It's one of my favorite bikes that I happen to own. I guess we can turn off the lights. Can you see it? It's a little hard to see. My, that bike there, it's good that I'm 30. Um, it goes 0 to 60 in 3.1 seconds. I say it sounds like precision because the way they have the uh, two cylinders just offset a little bit. It's kind of like the VR6 engine, Gerald and I were talking about that. It has a unique sound. So when I hear a Ducati go by, I can tell it's a Ducati and I have to look. Um, feels like speed, looks like art. That thing didn't happen by accident, neither was a world created by accident. And if you're gonna wanna take good care of um, your resources, that does not happen by accident either, okay? That's the parallel I'm trying to draw, even if it's a stretch, I'm trying to bring my <laughs> motorcycle in here. So the first thing I think we must understand when we're talking about resourcefulness versus wastefulness is the, the rule of multiplication. Waste and resource, uh, resourcefulness both will multiply with time. And this is stuff we've talked about, how the thing you do repeatedly is the thing that will grow. Um, it's kind of like whatever it is that you're investing in, you're going to get a return on that investment, whether it's good or bad. Uh, the more we value what we have, the more we will have to value. So when you take good care of things, they last a lot longer, and they actually mean more to you when you take good care of something. So if I, back to the Ducati, if I just left that thing outside and I didn't take care of it and I just trashed it, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have much value to me. But as it is, I put it in the garage and every now and then I'll go out there and I'll wipe it down and kind of appreciate it and then I'll take it for a ride. Uh, yesterday, <clears throat> my bike was down here and I forgot my helmets were down here. And I decided, I had an afternoon meeting at church, and I decided it'd be great to ride my bike back to church, my Ducati. Well, I didn't have a helmet, and so I just put on some glasses, and I rode to church, and I was there for my meeting, and I looked outside when we were in the meeting, and I was like, man, it looks like rain out there. Well, I leave church at about 3.30, and I'm about five minutes out from church, and it starts raining cats and dogs. And I don't know if you've ever had a pressure washer aimed at you, but that's how it feels like. And my... If you look at the Ducati, there's no real screen at all. You're just feeling it. So I was soaked to the bone. People were looking at me like I'm crazy, and my face was hurting. Um, but I don't normally drive my Ducati in the rain. I like to take good care of my Ducati. I like to take it for a ride. So the more we value what we have, the more we will have to value. If I take good care of that bike, it could last me 20 years. So I don't have to spend more money on a bike because I'm taking good care of what I have. Uh, here's a rule I want us to remember. If you remember one point out of the rule of multiplication, a dollar wasted is five dollars lost. So I want you to think in terms of lifetime. Um, depending how you invest your money depends how long it takes for this rule to apply or to come to fruition. But if you spend a dollar on something that you don't need, you basically spent five dollars. Because if you invest a dollar and you can double your money, in around 20 years. So that becomes $2 in 20 years. And then you double it again in 20 years. Now all of a sudden you have $4 from that $1. But if you spent it, you don't have that dollar. So that's a $5 difference. Does that make sense? So if you think in terms of your lifetime um, with saving money or investing money, a dollar that you spend on something actually costs you $5. And if you have a really good uh, investment, it can actually be a lot more. When Sarah and I were investing in rental properties, we were making closer to a 10 to 15% return because we were fixing things up. So that happened within 10 years, if that makes sense. A dollar would turn into 
um, two or three dollars in ten years to so that time would be twenty instead of forty depending on your return on investment but the thing I want you to know is where you are wasting resources it's costing you big time it's costing us big time if we do that so the rule multiplication um, comes into effect here's a very important thing when we're looking at our resources we must prior prioritize our resources the pain of living without something we want is much less than the pain of living without something we need. So, if I want that Ducati 748, um, but I have a family, and I'm having a hard time paying my grocery bills, my rent, my utilities, but I decide to go get the Ducati 748, when I have that Ducati, but I can't pay for my rent, I don't have money for what I need. I don't have resources for what I need. So the pain of living without something we want is much less than the pain of living without something we need. That's what I want us to understand. So if you're spending your resources at the wrong place, you're gonna feel the pain because there's certain things you must have. You must have a house to live in. So you gotta make sure you're prioritizing the right way. So following up on that, put our needs first and our wants third with a large buffer being number two. Because that, that brings peace of mind. There's, there's always emergencies, there's always little things. So if you put your needs first, your true needs first, which I would say includes investing as a need. Um, put your needs first, your once third with a large buffer in the middle. I think that's how we should prioritize. And this here point, um, I have come to understand very much personally. If we take care of the most important priority first, in time there will be plenty for every priority. So. Um, like I said, if you, if you invest well, if you spend your resources well, they multiply. And when they multiply, then you can start spending a little bit on some wants. You can go um, to Wendy's and not order off the dollar menu because you, take, you have taken time to save. Um, so Sarah and I did that like crazy. We made sure we were taking care of the first priority, um, the most important one. And with time, I could stop ordering off the dollar menu because I had money to order off the regular menu. It's amazing. Um, so, like I said, resources are tools. Some people get hung up on resources and they wanna just gather everything they can and all their life is just trying to figure out how to get more and more resources. First they wanna be worth hundreds of thousands, then they wanna be worth millions, and it just goes from there. Because they think happiness isn't having resources. But I wanna say, Resources are not happiness. Resources are tools to build something. So build something great. Um, and to do that, we need to value all resources, not just one. So if you value money over time, guess what? You're willing to work insane amounts of hours because time means nothing, money means everything, okay? But if you value both time and money, that'll bring a balance to your life where you're gonna say, you know what, I need time to spend with my wife, with my kids, with my family, with my friends. And so you're gonna, you're gonna balance time and money. You understand what I'm getting at there? So value all resources, not just one. You can make a lot of money if you're willing to work a full-time job plus a full-time um, part-time or a side job of investing in houses, fixing up houses, whatever it may be. Um, you can make a ton of money, but you will have no time. So value all resources, not just one. And now, here's another one, know when to value one over the other. So a wise person will know when they should spend a little bit more money to save a lot of time, or when they should spend a little bit more time to save a lot of money. You have to be wise in the way you use your resources. So if you want to build something great, everybody who's built something great knows how to value one resource over another at different times, depending on the situation. So put your brain to it and figure out What's the best value I can get with my resources, all of my resources? Um, so again, I said this earlier, resources are tools and tools build things, so let's build something. Don't go after money, don't go after time, don't go after things, don't go after um, even influence and all those things, those resources that we have just for the sake of getting them. Have a reason you're going after that that's bigger than just the resources themselves. This one here, I think, is amazing. Quality of life is everything money and things pretend to be. I want you to think about that. 
The American dream teaches us that if you have plenty of money and you have lots of things, you're going to be happy. I don't believe that's true. I think if you build a high quality life, you're close to the people you love, you have time for the things that are important, um, that is way more valuable than money and things. I would take a huge pay cut to keep the amount of time that I can sit and think and I can hang out with God and I can spend time with Sarah and I can go for a drive on the motorcycle. I'll take a huge pay cut to get that versus having all the money in the world but no time. So quality of life is everything money and things pretend to be. So when you're, when you're thinking about that and you're, you're hearing the American dream and all this stuff coming at you, just remember that. A simple life can be way more fulfilling than having all the things in the world. So build something great. So remember the rule of multiplication. Um, these three points, if you can think of these things when you're thinking of resources, um, the rule of multiplication, a dollar wasted is five dollars lost. Prioritize our resources. If you put your important um, priority first, you have plenty of resources for everything else. So if you prioritize correctly, you're gonna have plenty. And then build something great. Don't just use resources and gather resources for the sake of having resources. That doesn't do anything. Build something. Um, so just a little something here on resources uh, versus wasteful. Small amounts of resources can build large things when used properly. So a small thing can do a big thing if you use it properly. But seemingly small amounts of wasted resources can lay waste to large organizations and people. So you start getting real sloppy and you start spending money like it doesn't matter, well soon you won't have any. Or if you start spending time, like you have no limit of time in the world, soon time's gonna get away for you. So if you care for your resources, time, money, things, um, influence, they can do great things. When resources are valued big time, resources deliver big time. Remember that.